Hello and welcome to this fresh episode of Tech Quantum. In this video, we are going to discuss what is Dataverse. So keep watching and stay tuned. All right, so you might have heard the term Dataverse. What is Dataverse? Well, Dataverse is a, a cloud-based solution that is managed and maintained by Microsoft. And what it does is it combines a variety of solutions and business processes for your various interconnected applications in a very secure and a compliant manner. Now, as you can imagine, since it's a cloud-based solution, so you need an internet to connect to it. So it's not designed for your, um, you know, standalone installation on your servers. So you need an in internet connection to be able to access it and use it. And also it is, um, uh, available globally since it's a cloud-based solution, but it is deployed geographically to meet your potential, you know, to comply with your uh, data residency requirements. So Dataverse is designed to be your uh, central residency of your data. And um, if it might be very well possible that if you're using any Microsoft Dynamics 365 products, um, you might already be using Dataverse. So behind the scenes, Dataverse actually powers uh, various solutions like field service, customer service, marketing, and sales. Now it is also available as a part of Power Apps and Power Automate with the native connectivity built right in. Now things like AI Builder and Power Platform features of Power Automate also use Dataverse. Now Dataverse was previously known as Common Data Service and it provides a, a set of functionalities as you can see in the image that is being shown on your screen which i have taken from microsoft docs now let us just go through uh, each one of them one by one so first is the security now dataverse handles security or authentication using um, azure active directory or azure ad as you call it right it also involves um, multi-factor authentication to provide you conditional access. Now by multi-factor authentication, I mean, um, you know, you get an extra code on your mobile or your email, which you type in to get access to the system. So it provides an extra layer of security and it has become uh, very common nowadays, right? Now, not only conditional access, but it also supports um, row level and field level security. So um, you can also see the auditing details like who's changed the record, when it was changed, so on and so forth. So that's um, security in Dataverse. Now, next is logic. Now, what Dataverse does is that it provides you the capability to provide a business logic at the data level. So regardless of how a user is interacting with the data or accessing it, the same rule applies because the business logic has been applied at the data level. Now, these rules can be related to uh, your business rules, your workflows, your duplicate detection, et cetera. Now, next comes data. So Dataverse offers you the capability to shape your own data. You can model it, you can report on it, and regardless of how you use it, it's up to you how you shape your own data. So that flexibility is provided by Dataverse. And next comes the storage. As I mentioned, Dataverse is a cloud-based solution, so all your data is stored in the cloud. So you do not have to worry about the infrastructure or the scalability. You can just keep on continuing using your data. Now, next comes the integration part. Now, Dataverse um, connects in different ways to support your uh, business needs. So there are APIs, there are web hooks, there are data exports that give you the flexibility to get your data in and out. So as you can see, Dataverse is a very powerful cloud-based platform provided by Microsoft and also maintained by Microsoft, which allows you to store and to work with your data. And you do not have to worry about any infrastructure or scalability of your data. I hope you have got a good overview of what Dataverse is. If you want to have uh, more details, please follow the links that I've given in the description below. And stay tuned to Tech Quantum to watch uh, new videos on uh, new topics. Please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get the notifications of our upcoming videos. Bye.